what's up y'all it's your girl tweet back with another beat okay honey period um so i'm gonna start off with the juvia's place warrior two palette and those are the three colors that i'm gonna be using i'm starting off with the brown and i'm just gonna pack that all in my outer corner and i'm gonna hover it over in my crease as well Make sure you pack the shade on first while you're also simultaneously blending. Next, I'm going to go in with that light brown shade and I'm just going to blend the edges out. And I'm blending this all the way across, very, being very loose with it and kind of like buffing, buffing it out. Here I'm just taking the brush that I blended my base out with and I'm giving myself a clean base for my lid shade. So I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to pat it all over my lid. And I'm just packing this shade on really good, making sure that the color is going to come through, blending it into the brown as well. And I'm kind of making a rounded shape, even though this is not a cut crease, I'm still putting the shadow in that type of shape, just because it gives a certain look. Now we're going to add a little dash of purple and I really feel like this dash of purple brought the look together especially with the lips which is my favorite lip combo but I'm just blending this purple in between that new matte shade and the dark brown shade and it's blending into both of those shades really good. I was listening to some music in my zone. Also, make sure that you're going back and forth in between the shades to make sure that you have a seamless blend. We don't want any harsh lines, none of that. We want it to be a very much blended eye. Like all the colors are just coming into each other. So I'm going to take that brush that I put the matte shade on with and I'm cleaning it off in my little brush sponge cleaner thingy. It really comes in handy when you are working with multiple shadows and you want to use the same brush. And I'm just tapping um, my Fenty Balm Diamond Balm over that matte shade and it gave it a little sparkle. I don't know if you guys can really see on camera but there is a little sparkle added and it's really cute 
it's just the little things that make an eye look pop and this is one of those things So I was a little blow. I messed up the eyeliner a little bit, but it is a really easy fix. You just want to come back the opposite way on top. Make sure your eye is smooth so the liner will go on smooth and voila, it's fixed. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do the other eye and I'm not doing a full wing because I wanted this to kind of be smoky on the ends. I didn't want a sharp wing for this look so i'm stopping the liner right on the outer corner of my eye and i'm gonna blend the edges out with a black eyeshadow and i'm using the black that comes in the warrior 2 palette from julia's place and i'm i'm really like you can see my thought process i'm like do i like that do i not but it's going to come together. So I just decided to wing it out. And it's still not that sharp look. So I did like this. Um, so because that wasn't my idea at first, there's a little mess up, um, and you'll see me fix that with concealer in a minute. And as you can see on this eye, I just wing it straight out because I already knew what I wanted to do on that eye. And so now we have both of our wings and the little black that's out of place. I'm going to fix that with concealer. I might have cut it out. So we're getting to the good stuff. I tried the technique where you do your concealer and your contour first. And you do you just fill in your foundation in the other areas. And I must say, I might be holding on to this because it was really I really like the blend. Like it was flawless, okay? And for concealer, I'm using my Too Faced Concealer in Chestnut. And for contour, I'm using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade J4. And I know I always use a um, small amount with that con when I'm using that concealer because it's a really dark one. But here, I did go in with a little bit more than usual because I felt like... I could um, clean it up with the foundation, kind of. Like, I had more room for error without having the fear of packing on too much makeup. So, I did go in with a little more um, with that concealer. Yes, I'm in my zone. Comment below if you think you know what I'm listening to. It's really easy if you know me. It's easy. But yeah, I was feeling it. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to blend out the cons contour first. And then I'm just blending it out like I usually do. Like even when I put my foundation on first. I'm blending it out the same way. Because I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and then I'm going in and blending out my concealer with a small dense brush. And I really, really like blending my concealer out with this brush. It just gives, it keeps the coverage and it gives a flawless blend as well. And I did go into detail in my last video um, when I did my flawless base video. So I'm just blending all of this concealer out. 
and I'm really going around the edges first and then I'll go in and blend on the eye and all of that. I forgot to blend my contour. So I did want to blend it first before I blended my nose highlight out. I'm glad that I finally tried this technique and that I actually liked it. So I'm going to start trying more new techniques because, you know, if you never try anything new, how are you going to evolve, right? So I'm going to start trying new techniques, things that are trendy in the makeup world or whatever, and see what I like and what I don't like. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this technique and if you like it or if you want to try it soon. Here I'm going back over, um, I'm going over the edges with my beauty blender just to make sure that, you know, we want it seamless, honey. We want it seamless, okay? And now I'm adding in my foundation. I'm adding in all areas where I have no highlight or contour. And also in between my highlight and my contour shade as well. Because that's going to give us, that's where the seamlessness comes in. Because we've blended out the highlight, we've blended out the contour. So once you put in your foundation shade, which should be a shade that's between those two colors, you're going to get a seamless blend and look how it's coming out. I was really, I was, I was, you can't see the excitement on my face because I was really trying to get that blend, but I was excited to see this come out good. And I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder to um, set my highlight and for foundation, I use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 360, which is a great, great, great foundation if you're trying to get into makeup or you just want another foundation to try. It's only like $6 at Walmart and it's really like, it's legit. I love it and I use it all the time. For bronzer, I'm going in with my Sun Stalker from Fenty in the shade Mocha Mommy. Here I'm using my Fenty setting powder in the shade. What shade am I? Nutmeg. I'm using my Fenty powder in the shade Nutmeg to carve out my contour and also set the rest of my face. It is very, very important for you to set your makeup. You want to set your entire face because you don't want your makeup moving around. You don't want it budging, transferring, or any of that. You want it set. And I'm just going to keep for underneath my contour, I'm just going to keep blending that until there's no harsh line that you can see and everything just looks seamless for blush i'm going in with this new elf blush that i just picked up um from walmart i really do like it but i'm upset because i left my most favorite mac blush at home um back in mississippi so you just saw me clear, clean up that little mistake and I'm putting on a highlighter, which is the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. 
And also, I'm adding some diamond balm on, and I'm getting in my groove. Adding some diamond balm on, I really love the diamond balm. It just give you gives your face um, a sparkle, like certain angles. When you hit that light right, it gives you that sparkle, and it's really, really cute. And this is one of my most favorite lip combos. This is Smoke Purple from MAC. And um, Bedtime Flirt from NYX Lip Lingerie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you would like me to do anything in particular in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Adios!